Hi guys, uh, welcome to UK Sea Fishing uh, YouTube channel. Um, I thought today I'll give you an update on my um, Shakespeare seat box that I've uh, customised myself. Um, I did one a little while back, which proved quite popular, but this is just now that I've got everything set as I want it, just an update on that. So I'll run you through what I've done. So the seat box itself I've uh, customised with just my own person's personal stickers on it that I like to use. Um, I'm a big fan of Dawa, so as you can see, so I put a load of Dawa stickers on it. Um, a few of my own stickers, I've got some Ziplex stickers and some 3D uh, Great Britain flags, um, dome stickers. Um, same on the back side, just a few customisations on the back of uh, my own. Um, personal preference and then we go on to the seat the cushion itself so the seat cushion um, obviously you know they've got a really nice soft cushion that, that comes detached from the box um, what I've done there is I just added uh, velcro strips to the bottom of it just to keep it in place and then under that I've got my um, match roll, which will um, tell me the different species on different sizes, what the, the legal requirements are. So I can easily measure up and obviously put the lid back on, the seat back on. And that will stay in place even if it's windy, so no worries about that. Okay, to open the box you've got um, two catches on the front. So you need to release them, push them down and then what I've added, you see a lot of people have added, is the um, gas rams you can buy from Jamal Tech. Um, I bought these online, I can't remember the price, but I've added two, one each side. I had to customise the box slightly, because this is a new version of the um, Shakespeare seat box. These were made for the old version, so I just had to cut a couple of slots to make them fit. I do believe they do do a new version of these gas struts to fit the new version of the Shakespeare um, beta box. So you might want to look at that, but that's what I've done anyway. Um, again, if it's windy, or you, you just don't need to hold it up while you're getting bits and pieces, you've got both hands free, so that just makes it a bit more handy. Okay, so inside the lid, I've added various sorts of different, um, different bits to organize what I use the most. So I've got my two reels, um, both motor pliers there, so I'm holding the torch while I'm doing this to make try and make it a bit easier to show you. So we've got the uh, these uh, two real tidies from Breakaway, which just hold your motor pliers nicely. Um, I've got a Gemini Discorger, which uh, I've just put Velcro, sticky Velcro on the back, and then I just uh, it's just easy just to put back in the box. I've got um baiting needle to hand and i've got um on the lid again just um a rig winder with um probably the rig that i go to most so the first one i'm going to set up so usually a two hook um, clip rig i'll have on there so it's all all ready to go as soon as i'm getting setting up i've got um a pair of snips again just velcro on the back of them just easy to get to them um, up here I've added two strips of magnetic tape so they've got a sticky back and they're magnetic on the front so any small components like when you're getting a rig winder out and you take the pin out they just rather than lose it or lose it on the beach or in the bottom of the tackle box you can just stick it there till you're ready to sort it out again the same I've got um, a reel tool so in case I need to do any work on a reel that's sitting there on the right hand side a baiting knife um, needs a bit of a clean that one actually but um, I've glued the uh, sheath onto the box so that's all handy at the top there um, that's pretty much for the lid and then now we'll take a look inside the box Okay, so inside the box, I've got the um, breakaway, uh, I think it's a weight tray. 
and it comes with two spool holders so I keep my shock leader either side on there so that's to hand. Um, on top of that I've got this sponge cut out, it's a polystyrene cut out and uh, that's made by Demotech again and that you just put on top of the breakaway weight holder and that you can just put your weights nicely in and out of that. Also in that I've got some, some bait cotton to hand or bait elastic. I have a pair of these, always handy when um, getting hooked on flatfish. And I've got various different weights, some grip weights, some aluminous weights and some small three ounce leads in that tray there. Okay, on this side, again, Dabble Tech make this. Um, you can buy it off of eBay, I can't remember the cost, but it's a spool tidy, so you can get your different spools on there. Any any main line, whatever you're going to use, or what you think you might be using when you're fishing, if you want to knock up another rig, a rig body, some snood line, it's all there. Okay, so the bits to keep inside my box, um, I've got some more recording gear for when I'm doing a YouTube video down on the beach, that's uh, basically a head cam with all attachments. Also in there is a, a portable um, battery pack for charging my phone, just in case, um, charging the head cam and any other bits of technology I'm taking with me or even my torches. I've got my um, cap take everywhere with me. Um, towel, I'm sure we've all got one of them in our, in our um, boxes. Um, I've got my stow set. I think I've done a review on this before. I think you might have seen that one. So that's stored in there. And my Trinix, Tronix Pro rig winder case with all my different rigs on there. I take another rig wallet with different rigs in it. Then in the bottom of that, obviously this box comes with a tackle tray, which just slots nicely on the side. See that bit better there. So it goes nice on the side with a load of few bits and pieces in there. So I've got um, some spare components, glow beads, UV torch. I've got um, a windproof lighter. I think they call this light a survival lighter. So uh, yeah, just charge it up, and now uh, that works like that. And it's got a torch on the other end. Just uh, it's only a little torch, but it's a spare torch. Um, I've got a pier rest. So if I do end up with a pier, I can just wrap that around a pier, and I've got a rod rest there. Um, also inside the box, I take obviously my flask. I've got a spare reel in the bottom, some more spare line, a couple of tubs there, I've got one with spare baiting cotton, another tub with a headlight, headlamp in it. And then in the bottom of these boxes I've put, uh, oh no I've got a, sorry I've got a um, chopping board as well for baiting up and stuff. In the bottom of these boxes, you should be able to see if I zoom in on that. So, let me just take this torch off. Down here, again from Dermal Tech, they do these trays. So it's just handy to keep a few bits and pieces in. Um, I've got some rig winders in there and some other bits and pieces that you can just store in there. And then finally guys, in the other side, I've got again, another rig um, ready to go, which is a pulley rig on that one. So I've got a pulley rig and at the top, a two hook clip rig. So that's two different types. I can just easily just get straight out when I'm setting up and chuck them on. And these scissors again from Demotech 
again, just to say, I'm, I'm not sponsored by anyone at all. I bought all these items myself because I find them pretty good. These Dermal Tech um, uh, scissors and the holder, which comes with sticky back stuff on the side that's really strong and sticks onto the side. Um, these are really good scissors. Use them all for baiting up. It just cuts through any bait. Um, yeah, really good. So they stay on the side. Again, really strong. Um, yeah, that's that's my tackle box. So just hope that give you a few more ideas on what you can do. Um, it's probably a bit more organised than, than most people's. I like to keep it clean and and tidy because everything costs money in the end of the day. And if you can save a few pence by just looking after something a bit better, that's what I do. So yeah, I hope it gives you a few ideas and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you on the next one.